Hello everybody, Leo here and in today's video we're going to continue what we started with the Digo PIR and contact video. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how it all works together in a basic alarm system. First of all let's take a, a quick look at what we've got on the board. The first thing we've got is this Digo PIR, then we've got a 12 volt siren this has got a delay module inside. Look at the description below, you'll find the link to that video and how it's done. Then we've got a remote. We've got the contacts, the door contacts from Digu. We've got a relay switch with clean contacts. We've got a basic RF3. Then we've got a bridge. Then we've got, of course, the app eWiLink. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch the, the alarm on the system with the RF function here. So that will give me the mains to the bridge and to this switch. So let's do that. There you go. As you can see, the sun off went on. Now we're going to wait for the Wi-Fi to connect. We've got the Wi-Fi on the bridge connected. We've got the Wi-Fi on the switch as well. And all we have to do now is trigger an alarm. We're going to do that with a door contact. There you go. We've got a triggered. There you go. And it will go off. So unless you switch it off, I mean the alarm, you've always got the alarm on, haven't you? So if I trigger it again, as you can see, it's going to trigger the module and the siren will blast off. So let's turn off our system. I've also paired the second button with the bridge and it will turn off the son off, but you can still use the RF function because that will turn it on or even off. So as you can see now, I'm going to press and it's gone off. That is in Wi-Fi. Turn it on again. But I can also turn it off. So I've got two switches. And uh, so that's all for now. Goodbye.